Hello and welcome back to the Dream Printing Podcast. I'm your host, Polly Payne, and I'm the CEO and founder of Horatio Printing, the creator of the Dream Planner. And I am so excited for today's episode. I have a print school alumni joining us. Her name is Melissa Reed. She is incredible and she's the creator of the Travel Journal. There you go, you can see it. Um, I'm so excited to interview her. She made this incredible travel journal. It's really small, petite, and um, and stunning. It's filled with all sorts of beautiful pages, um, journal prompts, places to prep for your um, trip. And we're going to learn all about how she created it, how she launched it. She did a successful Kickstarter launch to create and fund her journal. You can actually purchase one now on her website, but originally she did the Kickstarter. And so I wanted to have her on the show today just to ask her about her journey into journaling, um, when the idea came from, how it came from an idea into fruition, where she's at now and where she's going next. So if you have the dream to create a paper product or a journal or a planner or some sort of neat hybrid, sorry, of the two, um, I think this episode is gonna be really inspiring. So I just wanna welcome Melissa to the show. Welcome back to the Dream Printing Podcast. I am so excited to welcome my incredible guest, Melissa. Melissa, welcome to the show. Hello, it's so good to be here. Okay, Melissa, tell everybody a little more about you. Okay, well, in a nutshell, um, I live in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm a mom of a couple of kids. And I am a spiritual director, um, which means I have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people uh, talking about their spiritual lives and all for the goal of like creating greater intimacy and, and, and deepening in their relationship with God. Um, beautiful. I love that practice. I also really love journaling and the two have kind of come together, um, kind of mushed together a little bit for me where I enjoy um, just asking deep questions. And I offer this to people, you know, um, in their journals and just to explore the presence of, I, I like to use sort of like synonyms for God, like, like beauty and love. So where can we find like love and beauty, um, goodness, um, in our lives. And so having a lot of fun with that. And I, I'm, I've always been sort of a creative artsy kind of person. So I enjoy mm -hmm. making my journals like really fun and pretty and, um, really kind of unlocked that, like, childhood love that I used to have. I used to love stickers. I was a kid of the eighties. We loved like scratch and sniff stickers and all of that <laughs> and so much fun. And so, yeah, just recently, you know, like now in my forties, like, you know what, I'm going to play with stickers again. It feels really fun. Yeah. So I enjoy like, yeah, making my journals really pretty and fun and just, um, just having an adventure there. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's my day to day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with stickers. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> You've always been like a lifelong journaler and mm. tell us a little bit about your business, the Kindred mm. Journaling Company. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it kind of sprouted out, not kind of, it totally did, came out of um, like so many things, the COVID era, um, right off the bat, like when, remember when we all like stayed home for two weeks to flatten the curve mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and I just felt this like nudge from God to get on Instagram every day and offer journaling, like guided journaling times with people. And I did that every day for months because obviously it was longer than two weeks mm -hmm. uh, and started to grow sort of a community there of people who really enjoyed this sort of contemplative journaling practice. Um, and so then from there I started, um, it was called something different, it's called Atelier Grace back then, but people couldn't pronounce Atelier. And so eventually I had to change it, it was driving me nuts. <laughs> I remember um, that. That's, I remember that's that. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was like a membership community where I was offering uh, journaling prompts and lots of other, I'm also a yoga instructor. So that was kind of intertwined in there. It was just sort of like just jumping off a cliff a little bit, like, I'm going to try this thing. I don't know what exactly it is, but uh, here's all the things that I love to do. And I'm going to offer it to people. That's so and then cool. over. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was just a leap of faith and like, why not? You know? Um, and so um, eventually that sort of whittled down and, and, you know, the focus sort of narrowed on journaling. 
Um, and over time, I, I eventually changed the name to Kindred Journaling. Um, kindred, because so often, like in our community, like we love Anne of Green Gables, <laughs> among a lot of other things, but like she just her, that character's, you know, outlook on life and whatnot. And so we call each other Kindred Spirits. Um, if you're familiar with the books and shows, you know, Kindred Spirits comes up a lot. And so we are Kindred Spirits. I thought this is Kindred Journaling. And we, we sort of refer to our online time as like being in a cafe. Uh, we come online together and we journal together in our little imaginary cafe. It's, it's cute and silly, but also like deep and powerful and, and profound. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing now. I'm offering journaling prompts and journaling opportunities, um, through kindred journaling in addition to my one-on-one spiritual direction practice. That's awesome. So I have one of your journals here with me. Oh, there it is. Travel journal. Love it. Mm. And I'm so excited. So for those of you that don't know, Melissa is a print school student and she created this product inside of my program, print school 2.0. So Melissa, I want to know, and to just share with everybody, like when did the dream of a specific travel journal bubble up in your heart and you decided that's the one I'm going to go with first Mm -hmm. and tell me the journey of you creating it. Mm -hmm. So cool. I just, this is one of those things where I just love like the way God works and things just unfold. Um, last year, a friend and I, so backstory is I've, I've co-led retreats with people. Um, our friend Caroline and I, we've led retreats together. Um, and another friend and I, we were going to lead a retreat in Bath, England, because we have a friend that lives over there and it was all going to come together. Um, ended up the retreat didn't work out. We ended up not doing it. It's a long story. But in the meantime, um, always when I'm leading retreats, I'll put together like journal prompts for folks. They bring their own journal. Here's the prompts. And we have journal time together and whatnot. Um, But in dreaming about this retreat, I started to kind of tickle in my mind a little bit the thought of what if we had like an actual book that had all the journal prompts for the retreat. Ooh, and maybe it's a place where people can like scrapbook things. And it just started to snowball this idea. Um, and like I said, the retreat kind of went away, but this idea just didn't stop. Um, and I was planning a trip that summer. So this was summer of 2023. Um, it's, it's ridiculous, but our family was able to go to Europe for a month. Um, another like weird thing from COVID, like my husband works from home now and like has not gone back since, you know, that, that two weeks at home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so he was able to work remotely and he's like, let's, let's go somewhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, let's go. <laughs> Please. So Yes. Like don't have to ask me twice. Um, so we went to Croatia and Vienna, Austria, and then Zermatt, Switzerland, um, and had an amazing time. But so like that was on the horizon for the summer. I've got this like little tickle of a dream of a travel journal and I knew of you, uh, you know, of course through Caroline and, and knowing that like print school was a thing and I, you know, it's always been kind of on my radar, but like, I didn't know what I'd want to print and, Mm -hmm. you know, it's good to know, just tuck it in the back of my mind. And so as all these things are bubbling up, I'm like, I should, I should look into that. Um, and it's funny, I was Marco Poloing with Caroline at the time and she said, like we almost like interrupted each other. She said, you should reach out to Polly and her print school. It'd be amazing. And I'm like, I already did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I came to into print school with this specific vision in mind of creating this journal and, and really with the timeline of like, I, I need to get these in my hand, the samples at least in time for us to go on our trip. Um, we ended up, but my friend and I ended up, we still went to Bath, England. We just didn't do it as a retreat. We just, it was like a girl's trip. It was amazing. (laughs) Um, and so we had the journals with us then, and then also on, um, the larger trip that I took this summer. Um, and so, yeah, the idea of the journal is that it's, it's a, like you build a library. It's like one book per trip. And so, um, I've been fortunate enough to like already build this cute little library. Um, and I know you and I chatted a little bit about like ideas for how to like 
name things on the spine? Like what's, what's something in the design that we can do? And I just got, um, uh, a label maker, like a, you know, old fashioned kind of label maker. And I put labels on it and I think it's kind of a cute vintage. Label. I love that. Yeah. Very vintage. Yeah. Yeah. It works out well. Um, and yeah, so each, each book is designed for a trip, um, up to roughly, you know, like a two week trip. I mean, I, my trip to Bath was, um, maybe five days, but, um, there's enough space in here for two weeks. Um, and there's space to plan your trip, you know, just really practical, uh, but also fun things to look back on and, and remember, you know, like, oh yeah, where did we stay? And what did I pack? And, you know, just kind of fun things to, to remember. Um, and then, you know, and wish lists and recommendations, like all of that, like pre-trip, like research that you might do, like, let's put it all in one place. And then, um, and then there's guided prompts for when you're going through your journey, mm -hmm. uh, you know, first noticing like how you're feeling and what your hopes are for this trip. Um, and then the like, invitations to um, sort of collect little paper souvenirs and whatnot throughout the trip uh, based on your senses. So like, what are you seeing? What are you smelling? What are you tasting? And which is really fun. Like the tasting, like all the food you're going to eat. You know, I'm like, chilled. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> it's so yes, fun. Yes, yes. You know, like labels, like, you know, any, anything flat I could get my hands on, you know, I'm like peeling labels off of bottles and, mm -hmm. you know, getting a hold of, um, you know, business cards and stickers and whatever I can, whatever I can cram into my book. So they get a little fluffy, which is kind of fun. Um, so yeah, there's that whole section and then deeper questions about, you know, what is your experience on this trip? You know, what is, uh, what did this place, what is it revealing to you? What questions do you have? Um, and then again, you know, like back to the practical in the end, there's, um, sort of a dated section where you can just kind of keep a log of what you did, um, each day. So that's the idea. I love and... it. I'm going to share my favorite parts. Like she did yes. such a great job designing it like it's so fun and vintage and cute like there's space to map out your trip for the month and i love in the back you've got like a, um a letter to your future self and like a letter to your past self mm -hmm. which i just love how beautiful that you you just did such a great job on this product there's a bunch of fun pages lots of hidden surprises for your journey and it's just super cute. I love it. It's so fun. Um, yeah. Show us a page where you've added trinkets. I think it's so fun to see. Oh my golly. Okay. So I've got a couple of favorites and I should have like bookmarked these before we were together. It's okay. But I, I went to Germany. This is like a last minute, the same friend that went to Bath. We both love to travel and we have very supportive husbands that are like, yeah, sure go. So we went to Germany um, for the Christmas markets. So much fun. And there, okay. So another thing when I'm on a trip, I, any brochures you can get a hold of, you know, even oh, yeah. if it's like irrelevant, if it's a different language or whatever, but there's images and pictures and things you can get in there. Um, and so there was this really cute, like vintage Christmas tree, but it was too big and I didn't want to cut it. And so I made a pop-up. Oh, how fun. Isn't that cute? And then I wrote around it, um, the Ger O Tannenbaum, you know, O Christmas mm -hmm. tree in German. I didn't know what I was writing, but <laughs> that's, so that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Go us another then, little page. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's this? Oh, this, I had a lot of fun in the bath in the bath, in, in bath English. <laughs> um, let's see. It's just a, it's just a cutout from a brochure. It's nothing fancy. I'm not, you don't have to be an artist, you know, yeah. um, it's just like travel scrapbooking. Yeah. Yeah. It's so All these fun. are fun. Here's, oh, um, yeah. those some, are cool. Yeah. Business cards, photos. Like I, I carry a little photo printer with me, the tea, like the little bag, tea bag things. Oh, yeah. So this fun. is from sugar packet. This is off of a drink. That's so fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to use mine. I'm so excited. So tell us what, what the journey was like in print school, like in terms of where you started and then where mm -hmm. you finished, like mm -hmm. you did the, you learned how to design yourself. Right. And yeah. like, what else really did that program mm -hmm. provide for you? Yeah. So it's funny, like in the beginning of it, I, I like to like, I have an idea and I just want to like 
dig in like elbow deep and like make it happen, you know, but you're like, no, 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 we're going to, what, what was the, the, the one with all the page numbers? And oh, an index what, file. An index file. I'm like, eh, I don't want to do that. It's an Excel sheet. Yeah. <laughs> That's not pretty. It's an Excel sheet. Like, I don't want to do this, but I trust Polly. I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to do my index file. It's super helpful yeah. to do that. You know, all those little steps that, you know, maybe aren't intuitive to me, um, but super helpful in, in putting it all together. I'm so grateful for that. Um, yeah. And then the launch, you, mm -hmm. so you went through print school and then you went through launch school and you did a Kickstarter to help mm -hmm. raise pre-order funds in order to fund yeah. the campaign. So tell us a little bit about your yeah. Kickstarter journey. Yeah. Um, yeah. What can I say? It was a lot of fun, like putting it together, really coming up with like marketing material. Again, sometimes I'm like, Hey, here's this cool thing I made. Ah, like, I don't know how to like articulate it. Um, and can I, I don't, I'm going to be just real go honest. Ahead. Yeah, no, say, go ahead. yeah. Yeah. Cause you know where I'm going. Yeah. Um, chat GPT really helped me. I, yeah. I saw also, it, listen, like I, chat GPT did not write my book, you know, but, um, I, I saw some videos suggesting like good ways of using chat GPT, like I, by having it ask me questions. Mm -hmm. And so I, I went in and said, um, you know, I need to write some marketing material for this travel journal, you know, but first, can you ask me some questions so you can learn about it? And so it asked me questions. And I told it all the details, which is also, I mean, I pretty much plugged in the questions that you offer us in the beginning of like, mm -hmm. what is this? Who's it for? You know, what are the well, pain points or whatever? Solve. Yeah. Yeah. All of that. And so I fed that in to my friend, chat GPT, <laughs> and she spit out like all this great, like, um, marketing, like language that like, I, I just needed help with like, Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good way of saying that. You know, and then of course I tweaked it and made it my own right. words, but that was really helpful. Even scripting sure. out the video, it was, it's bananas mm -hmm. what this can do if you use it well and, you know, mm -hmm. don't get weird about it. Yeah. So, your video was so good. It was fun. It was fun. You know, it was funny though with that. Um, I took a bunch of videos and, and pictures and stuff when we were on our trip girl, I wasn't thinking. And I took most of my pictures and videos in portrait mode, not landscape. Mode. Oh, and so yeah. I had to be very specific in how I could crop them to make them landscape mode. Yes. So yeah, oops. yeah. But, oops. but it worked out. Yeah, it did. Your video was phenomenal. <laughs> um, super great Kickstarter. And how did it go on day one when you oh, launched it? My gosh, you know, so like, that, that hitting the go button or whatever, like was just so nerve wracking, you know, and I, and I shared with folks later that like, you know, this is something so precious to me. Like I've, I created this like little baby, you know, and I'm putting it out in the world and asking people to like, to judge it, you know, normally like things are for me, like, I don't really care, you know, but, but I literally need you to accept this mm -hmm. and put money on it, <laughs> you know, and, and people did, we, I, I even like dialed down my, um, you know, I had my number of what I needed to raise in order to buy the full, um, the full run. I bought a thousand books. Um, so I had that number of what I needed and I thought, you know, with Kickstarter, like if you don't get the full amount then you don't get anything. So I was mm -hmm. scared. So I dialed it down a little bit just to be conservative. Um, but just a little bit. And we hit that goal in two hours. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. It was so much fun. How did that yeah. feel when you hit it? Oh, just <gasps> like, oh. <laughs> I'm speechless right now, but I'm on a podcast. Let's find words. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just this really sweet, like sense of satisfaction, you mm -hmm. know, that I created something that not only I think is beautiful, but like other people think is beautiful and they find value in and they want and um, just kind of felt like in my groove, you know, like, you know, that like icky guy concept of you know, the Japanese concept of like, you know, the thing that you doing the work that you love to do, but also that the world needs and like everything coming together. I just felt this, like this connection that like mm -hmm. I made a thing and other people like it and want it also. So yeah. it felt really, it was just, you know, plainly speaking, it was just really encouraging. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, absolutely. You tapped into your God given creativity. You created something and it was well received. I mean, it's, that's such an incredible feeling to be in your lane, in your zone and, um, and to watch it grow. And so now all of those journals have shipped out. They're now in people's hands. Mm -hmm. And now you're currently selling your beautiful travel journal on your website. Yes. How is that going? It's going well. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to be honest, like I need to turn up my marketing skills. Chat again. (laughs) I know, help me. Um, You know, it's just that overcoming that, like stepping out and, you know, speaking up more and sharing it more and stuff. So, you know, working on that. Um, and so, yeah, there, there have been, you know, a good amount of sales that's been fun. So, um, more will be nice. Yeah. (laughs) I feel encouraged. Like I don't feel like one bit like discouraged or anything, you know, um, you know, thankfully like it's, it's not a dated thing. So like, you know, I could be selling, I have all the time in the world to sell them and, um, they're all paid for, you know what I mean? Like, I, it's not like I'm in debt and I've got to make up anything. So that feels That's good. awesome. So yeah. what's the next thing you're going to create? I am daydreaming. I'm moving. I'm, I'm a slow mover, <laughs> but, um, in my journaling practice, I've, I've, I've kind of narrowed a way of journaling that I like to do. And I've been able to now name it and literally name it. I call it Vivio Divina, mm-hmm. uh, which means divine living. So it's kind of a spin on Lexio Divina and Audio mm-hmm. Divina and all that. Um, and I, yeah, I want to create a container for that, you know, a, a journal that would be guided, that would also be, you know, informative and, and, you know, teaching us about, you know, the importance of wonder and Mm. um, how to look for beauty in the world and, you know, and some practical exercises and I don't know, super like, you know, pencil sketches right now. Cool. So you're back in ideation mode. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. That's awesome. Well, I'm so proud of you. Tell everybody where they can go right now to get Mm -hmm. their copy of the travel journal. Okay kindredjournaling.com kindredjournaling.com I'll drop Mm -hmm. the link below and is there a discount for bundling there is yes it's not like a code or anything it's just like a different item that you would purchase and so um you can get one or you can get four books and I don't know what the percentage is off but it's just it's so one book is 27 Mm dollars four is a hundred so it's it's considerably cheaper and you get a free roll of washi tape and it's yeah. like you designed like to go with the journal, um, washi tape for you. So, yeah. so you definitely yeah. want to get the four, the bundle. Yes. Of four. You're going to take four trips. I hope they, so. Yeah. They also make for super great, um, gifts. If you know mm. someone who has a trip coming up, I just gave one to a friend who's was planning her honeymoon. Like Cute. what a great thing to take and yeah. to plan and to have something sweet like that. So, um, it's great for a wedding gift. It's great for, mm. um, a Christmas gift. I know it's not Christmas time right now, but mm-hmm. you know, summer trips coming up, um, yeah. graduation trips, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's yeah. a great gift. You know, you have those people in your life that are always traveling that have the travel bug and maybe they're in a season of life where they get to travel more than I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, cause I've got little kids at home, so I don't travel quite as much, but, um, yeah, it's a great gift. So go ahead and yeah. grab the bundle go to kindredjournaling.com. And I'd like to ask you one last question, Melissa, if you, if someone's watching this and they're on the fence about creating their thing, um, maybe they feel that same like nudge from God to create something like you felt, and then you leaned into it and during COVID with your, um, you know, showing up online, what would you say to them? I mean, obviously like just do it. (laughs) I mean, it definitely, like, it takes like kind of a moment of bravery, you know, to, to sort of take that big jump, you know, but, you know, know that you'll be, you're in good hands. You've got good support, you know, I mean, obviously Polly and like, you know, the rest of, you know, the team and even like the Facebook group, like there's tons of support. Um, yeah. Um, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> and trust, you know, um, I've been like leaning into this like idea of like, um, 
like God is an abundant God. Like there's just, there's so much, you know, there's so much available to us. Um, there's so much support, so much love, you know, and, and I hate to spin it this way, but like, what's the worst that can happen, mm -hmm. you know? So just do it. Just do it's it. It's so fun. It's just, yeah. 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 Right. It's so satisfying to like make a thing yeah. <laughs> and then Absolutely. have other people like get into it. It's so fun. I agree. I've made lots of things. I'm, I'm <laughs> right there with you. So if you're watching this and you're interested, go to HoratioPrinting.com slash print school and learn more. You can apply right there on the page. And I'd love to see you inside. You can hang out with cool people like Melissa. That's also in <laughs> let, the student community. Let me say also, like you took something that always felt super daunting to me. Cause I mean, the, the thought had tickled my mind for a while, you know, even before the travel journal, like it'd be cool to like print something, but how do people do stuff? Like, <laughs> how do they, how do they do things? How do you make a thing? You know? And it, it just seems so overwhelming and so daunting and Polly, like, it's kind of easy, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's a lot of work, but it's also like, oh, you can just do it. I'm, yeah. I'm so delighted by what I learned in print school, not just about how to print things, but about like myself and the world, you know, that I can do things. So amen. Thank you. Seriously. So thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the show and make sure everybody goes to kindredjournaling.com, grab your travel yes. journal. Also just connect with Melissa and her incredible, sweet journaling community for all yes. the journal lovers out there. And I'll see you again on the next episode. Thank you.